Hello. Hello. Hi, how are you? I am good. And you? I'm good. Good, thanks. Can you hear me properly? Yes, I can. Perfect. Okay, good. <laughs> my name is Sarah. What's your name? Uh, my name is Marcel. Marcel. Okay, yes. nice. And, and where are you from? I'm from Brazil. Oh, Brazil. Wow, yes. that's great. And yes. so you want to learn or practice your English? Uh, yes, yes. I want to improve my English. I have some problems. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's okay. Um, well, before we start, I probably will let you know that here on Cambly, as tutors, we understand that you will make mistakes, so there will be times where you make errors, and we're here to correct you. So don't feel shy for for making any mistakes or anything like that. Okay, we understand. Right. That. Okay. Yes. Um, okay, so how long have you been one, uh, learning English for? Did you start since school or is it recent? Uh, what I, I have problems with the past, but your question for me is what is, what is the method that I do? Or, um, yeah, but mainly I wanted to know when you started learning. All right, okay. Yeah. Okay, I studied English for one year and five okay. months. Okay, I started with a private, private teacher. Right. Okay, after I entered on the school. Okay. Okay, and now I am here on Cambly. <laughs> okay, great. So okay. you have, you, you do have some past experience. Mm. All right. Yes, and I wanted to improve my English because it's necessary for my work. Okay. And right. every day I I am try find someone to talk. Right. That's okay. good. That's good you do mm. that. What what do you do for for work? Uh what is what is my work? Mm -hmm. I work with computer sales. And oh, the other equipments okay. of technology on company mm. of leasing. Yeah, you do need your English for that. Yes, yes. Good. It's very, very necessary. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm really glad you're making the effort. You know, here on Cambly, um, a lot of students call us, and it's usually because they want to practice or improve mm. their English, not necessarily learn it. Um, but you said you have a bit of trouble with your past tenses. Is that what you mean? Like um, with your grammar, do you struggle a little bit with that, or? Uh, your question, for, your question for me is. Do you want me? If okay. I like grammar. Um. Yeah. Like, do you um have trouble understanding grammar, or past I, tense? Sorry, but I am. I am trying to understand what is. Remember, what is trouble? Trouble. Okay, so trouble or when trouble. something is hard. Trouble. Let me see. Trouble. Like problem. Like problem? Oh, all yeah. okay. oh, right. Okay. Yeah, so oh, do you okay. have problems <laughs> understanding grammar? Okay, trouble, trouble, trouble mm -hmm. is other word. For problem. Yeah. If you're in trouble, it means you're in a lot of problems. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Uh, trouble is like, uh, for example, a lot, a lot, a lot of problems. problems. Yeah. A lot of problems. A lot. Pro and okay. usually it's because you do something wrong. <laughs> okay, That's but, trouble. All right. But I can say I have many problems. You can say I have many trouble um, problems, or okay. um, I'm having a lot of trouble. Um, in this case, understanding grammar, things like that. Mm -hmm. But you can say I'm I'm in a lot of problems. That's, that's all right. Problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I remember now about a question. Okay. Uh, about grammar, I will I will ask you. Um, did. Did. For, did for example, I I don't know the words 
awards in the past, for example. Um, let me see. Eight is mm -hmm. it in the past, right? Eight. Eight, yes. Yes. Eight, eight is, is a past for it. Yeah. Okay, but now I, I know, but uh, before I don't know, and uh, so uh, after, uh, sorry, before I I say did, use did, for example, I did it, okay? I can say I, I ate, right? Yes, you can say I ate. Usually did is, is, is more, it's, it's used more in questions. Oh, so, questions. for example, what did you eat? Or did you uh, eat pizza? All ah, right, okay. Right. So yeah. if I say I use the for affirmative affirmative in the past, I is is incorrect. Um like if you say for example I did eat. Yes, for example, uh, I did eat, I did watching TV, uh I did play uh basketball. Okay. Um, it's, it's grammatically, it's not because, uh, it, the fact that you did something is a past of do, but in mm -hmm. order to replace that is why you have the ED, for example, I watched TV. So you don't have to say did because it, yes, the yes. ED automatically turns it into past. Yes. So, um, I watched TV on this date, which means you don't have to say did when you would have to say did is when you're being, um, negative. For example, I didn't. I didn't. Yes, I okay. didn't watch TV. Yes, but uh, so, but when I don't know the word the best, I can say I can use it, but it's not correct, right? Because yeah, may, it, maybe the person uh, will be will think uh, Marcelo is. Is tell, tell me, told me in negative. Okay. Yes. In a sense, let me let me explain something to you very quickly, because did comes from do, and do is like an action when you're doing something. So this bit, so did is like a verb. Now, mm -hmm. in a sentence, there can be, um, for example, uh, two types of verbs, and that's why did becomes auxiliary verb or mm -hmm. a helping verb. And, okay. um, but that is followed usually by a main verb, such as run, eat, watch, things like that. Mm -hmm. Now, it makes sense for you to use did as an auxiliary verb when there's another verb in a sentence. For example, did you eat pizza? So that you have did and eat, which are two verbs in a sentence, and you can say that. But when there's not another uh, verb, so to speak, and... Um, you know, the, then you wouldn't use did. You would only use did as an auxiliary verb. But if there's only one type of verb, then you would say ate, for example. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't say I did ate. You for, would say uh, I ate a whole pizza. For, for, uh, other example, for, uh, for example, uh, you take, you take, in the past, okay? You take, uh, you take this, you take this with your hands. You take this with your hands. Okay. Yes. Remember, if it's in the past, you would say took. You took this with your hand. Took? Yeah, because took is a past of take. Take it? Uh, are you saying take? Yes, take. Yeah. T-A-K-E, right? Yeah, take is when you... When you you, when you take something, but if you uh -huh. want to say um, take right in the for past, me, please write for me. Okay. Yes, in the past. Okay. So take. Be like I take the taxi. Work. Okay. Now, yes, if you want to say I... in the past, I took. The taxi to work. I take the taxi to work uh, is in the past. No, I took. All right. 
-hmm. take his present. I took. I took? Yeah. Took. Now, if you're talking about present time, because take, I... take is like present simple. But if you want to say present continuous, you would say I am taking. All right. Okay. I it's present continue. I am taking yeah. the, the taxi. taxi. To work. To work, exactly. So something that's happening right now. But if it's something in the past, like, did you take the taxi to work last weekend? Okay, yes. I'm taking the taxi to work. But what is the take it? T A K E D. Where where did you see take it? Yes, I I I remember take it. I but take if I can say right for you? Um, yes. Okay, if you say, take I have it. taken an exam. What is take it? Yeah. Well, no, because take is, a, is like an irregular verb. And the past tense is took. So you wouldn't took. say take. What All you right. can say is taken with mm -hmm. an N. Because mm -hmm. that's the past participle form, you know, from, um, is taken. Um, for example... Take it is, is really not something that you would use. Mm -hmm. Normally, you would hear that from, you know, young children that are still learning English or, you know, um, in your case, you know, people who are still learning English, but it's not something used in English. It's not right. Okay. okay? And the other verb, for example, I, in the future, for example, I wanted to go, I wanted to go to, to house mothers. House's mother is correct. I wanted I, to go. I want to go. Yes. I wanted to do something. What? Now I wanted to go to House's mother. Is correct? Houses first of all, I'm I'm not too sure what you mean by house's mother. Uh okay, other other method, other form. I wanted to go to uh house of my mother. Oh, okay. So I wanted to go to my mother's house. Ah, mother's house. All right. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Mother's house. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I do you mean like I want to go to my mother's house? Yes. If you say the past, I wanted. Yeah. I wanted. I wanted to go. I wanted yeah. to go. All mm -hmm. uh, right. I wanted to go. I wanted to go. Uh. To mother's house, okay. My mother's house, very All good. right, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. All right. There are these types of differences um, in English, such as take and want. You know, mm -hmm. want will finish. Will like the past verb would be um, wanted, but take would be took. Oh, take. okay. Yes, uh, so, you. I'm sorry, sorry. Continue, please. No. Yep. So it just changes. I, I am remember what the other example, for example. Um, let me see. You Okay. I want you to finish. I want to finish my work now. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's yeah, correct. Yeah. I want to I finish. Want to finish my okay. Uh, you told me that I finished my work yesterday. It's correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yesterday, you would say, I, I wanted to finish my work yesterday. Yes, finished. Finished. Okay. Yeah. Fini finished with D on the, la the last. Because on if it's end, yesterday, end. you would just say, I finished my work yesterday. Uh, finished? Like finished. Yeah. If you say wanted, then you would say, I wanted to finish. I wanted to finish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right, okay. I wanted to finish. Okay, and present continue. I am, I am finishing, finishing yeah, my I work. Am finishing. Finishing. Mm -hmm. G G uh, is the I last am. letter. Yep. All right. E uh, I N G the last. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I am finishing. Usually, you use I N G for con for something that's happening now. It's like a continuing word. Okay. All right, Sarah. Thank you very much <laughs> for your help. Now I am. I have 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Thank you so much, Marcel, for calling me, and I hope to see you another day. Okay. Okay, Sarah. Thank you very All much right, again. You take care. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 <laughs>